Hi guys and welcome to the channel and to my base review series where I find you the latest and greatest bases from throughout the world. We test them out in the Legend League, review them and then give them a score out of 10. And today guys I've got a glorious base for you. Yes it looks very strange but it's also very good. People are really struggling to take this base down. It's an excellent anti-Pekka Bobat base as well. We're going to check out some Legend League replays in a moment where you can see this base in action against some of the world's top players. If you are impressed and you do want to try the base yourself it's easy head on over to the video description click on that base layout link and kaboom yes the base will appear on your device just like that magic so anyway let's go check out this base you're going to see the replays now and you'll see how awesome it really is so here's my Legend League defense log for the base, guys, and I have to say this is one of the best performing bases I've ever reviewed. Over a two-day period in the Legend League, we've had 15 attacks against the base. Of those 15 attacks, 7 have been 1-star attacks, 8 have been 2-star attacks, and no 3-star attacks. That is amazing. Almost 50% of attackers left with 1-star or less amazing. So let's go and check out this first replay. Then Oreo Killer, 70% one star. Yeah, so with this base, guys, you've got that centralized town hall. It looks like a bit of a gimmicky base, a bit of a fun base, but it's not. The way the defenses are laid out are very clever. And like I said, it's an excellent anti Pekka Bobat base. I've been trying all morning with friendly challenges to take it down with Bobat, and I just cannot. But anyway, into the action now. Golem on the left, Golem on the right, making a nice funnel, pushing into that base. And this is the key. You have to get your Wrecker to that Town Hall. Otherwise, you're not going to get above one star. But the Wrecker's gone in a bit early now. It's just hit that Tornado Trap. It's all going a bit wrong here. I would personally, if you want to at least get two stars, send in that Wrecker a bit later, about now, so all the defences are distracted. So what's going on? The King's going around the right there. The Queen's going on the left there. Grand Warden is following. Jump Spell has been put down by Oreo to try and take down that Town Hall, but those Witches have got no chance. They have been fried. And now the Giga Tesla is up and angry, and it's in perfect range, the way this base has been designed, that it can hit anything walking around that core segment. Beautiful. So now everybody's getting zapped. The king is having a tough time getting Inferno to the midsection. He is down. I repeat, the king is dead. And now only one true hero remains. Bob the Bowler over there. Can Bob three-star this base? Absolutely not. So let's fast forward that. Yeah, go on, Bob. Boom. 13, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3. Yep, yeah, gone. So one star, 70%. Painful. It is very difficult to take down this base. As time goes on, of course, this base may become less effective. I've only seen it in the Legend League recently. Um, let's check out some more replays here. So yeah, we've got loads of nice one stars to choose from. Here's another one. 81%. Oh, this looks interesting with quiz. 81% one star. Eight giants, six witches, 28 bowlers. So a nice line of giants there with the witches behind. Yes, we've seen this tactic before, of course. In go the heroes. Wrecker in the middle again. It's sort of it's sort of just natural that you put your wrecker down after you've put your troops down. But with this base, you cannot afford to do that because your wrecker will not make it to the town hall. I've said that now, so I hope that's true. In go all the bowlers. Out come my clan castle troops. The witch is taking on those guys, so the Wrecker is making it through, but no, you see, it hasn't even made it anywhere near that Town Hall. Beautiful. Now those bowlers are just going to go spill to the left, spill to the right. 50% is going to be reached, and then the Giga Tesla will come out and ruin everybody's day. Baby Dragon actually uh, woke up the Town Hall, much to his uh, fellow troops dismay there they would not have liked that and as as i said look now giga tesla is just zapping all these bowlers over here nobody's going to make the town hall and it's just the walk of death i like to call it around that um core they're all gonna die and my queen's still waiting there she is ready for some uh crossbow action is it a crossbow she's got yeah it is isn't it um but um yeah there we go again carbon copy of the first attack really isn't it really carbon copy you need to take down that town hall imperative there's that jump spell nobody's jumping to that town hall though guys so yet again another one star 
attack. Beautiful. We are going to check out the best attack against the base, though, see how they took it down. So let's go back and watch another one starer. What have we got? I want to try and see if there's any air attacks, actually, guys. Oh, here we go. Yeah, an air attack from Shahab. This is attack strategy I like using, actually. Eight loons, eight electros, full, full heroes, and the slammer. So, yeah, make a bit of a funnel in those corners. But, again, it's an awkward base to funnel against. So, maybe use a battle blimp. I don't know. E drags in there. They're going to spill into the base. Slammer in through the centre. So maybe a wrecker would have been a better idea just to try and ensure you get that core. See, I'm just trying to work out what's going on here. Mass of electro drags there, but they're not interested in the core at the moment. They're going off to the right. Of course, troops follow the nearest structure, so they're not going to go to the town hall, are they? They're going to work their way round around the town hall and here we go this attack is in ruins and like the previous replays giga tesla is out and they're all in trouble i think their queen just went down as well or was it mine not sure queen certainly died there and at this point you know it's game over you know it's one star but those guys have made it to the town hall but they only uh, got within touching distance and then were slain beautiful king is still going over there Grand Warden just zapping him, not even looking at him, just out the corner of his eye, the Grand Warden is zapping away. Cheeky. So there we go, again, another carbon copy. This is an excellent base. I've tried it in the war as well, guys, effective in the war, especially if you're sort of not facing professional opponents. As with any centralised town hall, if you are facing an expert war clan, they more than likely are going to roll over you and get three stars anyway, so it's better running an anti um three star base in the war but this is a good option if you're sort of in a casual war or lower clan war leagues so let's go and check out one more replay who did well against this base there we go 94 percent from simone that was the best attack that we've had against the base let's check it out so what do we got four healers four packers baby drag e drag some bowlers so I assume, I have not watched any of these replays, guys. I assume that this is where the wrecker does reach the town hall. I could be wrong, of course. So patience is the key here. E-drag in that corner. Something's going on up there. It's a baby drag, of course. Clearing up the trash over there. So we've got a bit of a funnel now. So I assume we're going to be coming in from this left side. Most people before in the replays have come in from the bottom there. They're attracted to that eagle artillery. So in we go now. Bowlers must be coming in now after these peckers. Here they all come in. Late to the party. No bowlers yet. Oh, here they come. Okay, so it looks like the wrecker, to be honest, is having an easier time over on this side of the base, isn't it, than the other side. And this could be the key. Is that wrecker going to make it, though? My witches have come out to say, listen, you're trespassing, but the wrecker is going to make it to the town hall. So that is the key here. Like I said before, the wrecker has made it. A couple of bowlers are pushed through because they went in, they joined the party late, and the town hall is down. So that is the key. It sounds, it, it does sound a bit, uh, you, you know, obvious me saying that the town hall is the key, but it is at the beginning of the attack. You need to take that town hall down before you reach 50%. But beautiful. There we go. Yep, nicely done. Bit fortunate, I think, that the wrecker got there. But it does seem that if you do come across his base, attack it from that top side. It does obviously leave uh, the Eagle Artillery in action until later. But it makes sure you don't get a one-star fail. So now, what is going on? That Queen has still got a couple of healers. I know that's obviously really important in your raids. If you can get your Queen to survive to the end game and have a couple of healers... You're in good shape. Not sure why the Barbarian King is trying to... Yep. Changed his mind as they always do. Spent about 20 seconds on that wall. Then turned around and walked into a giant bomb. Well done, King. Well done. Let's fast forward it. There are not many troops left. I do believe the Queen's going to do the most of the damage here. And get the percentage up. And she still has her ability left. 
Are we going to run out of time or is everybody going to die? No, everybody will die. So yeah, that's a decent attack. And like I said, just showing that it's so important to get that town hall down nice and early and protect your wrecker, especially on these centralized bases. So yeah, guys, back to the base for a you know, over overview now and to review it. I really, really like this base. It's quirky, it's different. Yes, like I said before, some people might come up against it and think, oh, this is a you know bit of a, a troll base, bit of a silly base, but it's not. It's a really well thought out base. It's difficult to get to that central town hall. You've got to really plan it well and if you don't plan it well, you're going to fail and you're going to get just one star. So yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this base. Excellent Legend uh, League choice. Also, like I said before, Clan War League or War, you can use this base too. So, nothing I'd really change, to be honest. Try it out with Pekka Boba. If you've got a way to take this uh, base down with Pekka Boba, I'd love to know because I just cannot do it. I can get sort of 80-90%, but I can never get in the position where I feel confident to deploy my bats without them all getting taken down. And that's because the way the Wizard Towers and the Multi Infernos are laid out here. It's really difficult to take them all down before deploying your bats. Anyway, excellent base. I'm really impressed. Today, guys, I'm going to be giving this base 9 out of 10. And the Sir Moose Thumb Up Award... I haven't given that award for some time. Yeah, 9 out of 10. I'm really impressed with it. Obviously, higher up in the Legend League, guy, guys, uh, you know, it might struggle a bit. But that's the same with any base. Let me know how you get on, guys. If you've got any bases that you'd like me to review, do put them in the video comments. I'll have a look and get back to your ASAP. So, Moose signing out as always. And, guys, remember, get up in the morning, do your press-ups, have some breakfast, and practice your funneling. It's really important. Funneling is the key to a good attack. Catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching.